Hi, welcome to the channel. Erin is my name, and on this channel, we talk about all things family. So, today we're going to be talking about habits that we should avoid in our pursuit for successful families. And keep watching. Habit number one is procrastination. So, guys, every time we keep postponing things to the future, we are lying to ourselves that we are in control of our own time, which is not true. We all know that we have a limited amount of time on earth here. You don't know when you're going to die. You could be very alive today and gone tomorrow. You don't know how much time you have with your spouse or even your kids. So stop pushing things to the future. Stop saying, we shall spend time together when I retire. Who tells you you'll be there when you retire? Or that your family will be there make the memories now go for that vacation now achieve that milestone now have that talk now i don't know do that assignment now so that you can have as many memories with our family as possible number two is mediocrity as people who want to have the best of a family life we must be able to pursue a heart of excellence in everything we do put in your best effort to be the best partner the best parent the best homemaker the best whatever it is that you're doing make sure that you're doing it with all your heart pursue excellency spend like be good at this family thing love your spouse with all your heart do not just be there you know giving basic minimum standard just to kuyita for things where you're not good at, seek knowledge, learn, grow, so that, you know, you get better and are excellent in everything you do in your family life. Number three is rigidity. Uh, we all know that families are made up of different people, different individuals. And so we have to be aware of that and be able to treat someone in their individuality. Even if it comes to your spouse or your children, there are some things that are not going to apply to everybody you have to learn everyone's individuality your children your spouse and then be flexible in how you relate with them that way you'll have harmony and peace in your family don't have a one rule for all and say for me i don't do this i mean people are going to have different love languages people have different needs people have different skills and talents and so you have to be flexible in the way you relate with each of your family members so that you can have a healthy and thriving family habit number four is comparison guys i feel like comparison is such a killer of joy every time you compare your family to another family and then want your family to act exactly the way you see in their family you're going to kill the joy that is in their family you we, we must be mindful of the fact that we all have our own races to run each family has a different purpose for which it was created and so you must focus on that don't want to live in a particular place like mr so and so or don't try to you know make your spouse fit in a particular box because you think the other gentleman is a great husband and so they should act like that don't make your children these things of saying why don't you be like this and this why don't you behave like these children all those things like if you're always comparing your spouse your children or even other family members you just kill that joy and you and you kill that authenticity that comes with being with yourself so avoid comparison number five is perfectionism we all agree all have our flaws and weaknesses and so there's no one out there who's going to be perfect it doesn't matter how perfect they look or appear in reality no one is perfect so stop expecting your spouse to be perfect stop expecting your parents or your siblings to be perfect stop expecting perfect children they don't exist what we can do is pursue excellence and not perfectionism having a perfectionist perfectionistic is that a word <laughs> having that mindset is going to just lead to frustrations and you know bitterness because the person is not going to live up to your expectations so drop the perfectionism and pursue excellence another habit that we need to drop and avoid as we pursue thriving families is independence this is sort of like a mindset there are people who are so self-reliant they don't want to you know depend on anyone for anything those that independence habit will kill families because 
The foundation of a thriving family is interdependence. We must be able to depend on each other one way or another. As spouses, as members of the family, you rely on your children for something. They rely on you for something. You rely on your parents for something. And they also rely on you for a particular role. So everyone must be bringing something to the table. You can't be Miss Independent or Miss Independent and, and expect to have a thriving family. So allow yourself to lean onto your family members so that you can have harmony in your family. Finally, the habit that we need to give up in order to have thriving families is giving up, quitting. We've seen so many people give up on each other for different reasons, but I mean, I just feel like if we keep trying just a little bit more. Our family relationships will be better. These things of saying, for me, I no longer talk to my sister. For me, I no longer talk to my, you know, my children. That child of mine, I gave her to the Lord. And I mean, you cut ties completely and give up on that particular relationship. That's not nice. Remember, we said there are no perfect people. And so we need to keep being patient with each other and keep working on our family relationships as we, you know, pursue harmony and peace in our families guys thank you for watching i'm waiting to connect with you in the comment section and bye bye